Hello guys, welcome to the latest episode of Every Platform and welcome back to London-ish. We are on the Hounslow Loop today doing another bit of South Western Railway. Uh, today you find us at Barnes Bridge located on the Hounslow Loop. This is the line we didn't do in January and then we're doing it now instead. Um, Barnes Bridge Station is, as you guess, there is a bridge over there which is known as Barnes Bridge. That is uh, probably the most ironic fact about it. Um, as for the place itself, um, it's in Travel Cod Zone 3, is uh, in Barnes, it's in the London Borough of Richmond, and uh, opened in 1916 on the Surrey side of the River Thames on the embankment leading to Barnes Railway Bridge, which is all you can see down there, I believe, from which it takes its name. Uh, it's more central to Barnes than Barnes Railway Station itself, so this place is actually closer to Barnes. Um, and on boat race days, this station gets quite busy, so yes. Um, we're going to try and keep it brief with each station today because we are only gonna, we're going to a lot of places today, so we want to keep it nice and brief as possible. So, of course, in the video today, we've got Alex, we've got Cameron, we also have Anish. He's uh, disappeared somewhere, I think. Yeah, um, there's three of us today and also we will have Jasper with us too to make four and then me makes five so yes, it could be a good day. So if you do check out any updates on trips and posts, please do check out my Facebook group and also follow my Instagram at KTBVids. So um, let's begin today's episode of every platform here at Barnes Bridge. We're going to go now, Barnes Bridge done, the next stop is Chiswick, update you soon. Alright, bus one of the day, we're on the 533 which goes to Hammersmith. We're taking this to Chiswick, or a nearby stop anyway. There is a lovely design, we're talking about Barnes Bridge Station, or well, the actual bridge itself as well. So we are on a E200 MMC, a big E200 MMC. White Hart Lane. We are not going to see the <coughs> Tottenham Hotspur because this is the wrong area for that. I'm back in them already. Yeah, Cam's back in Tottenham. And we are not going to see Tottenham because that's not their ground anymore. And you, Tottenham. Update you soon. Right, now reached. Chiswick. Uh, we've got a 533, which is a mini E200 MMC. Well, no, it wasn't actually. It was quite a big one, actually. We have a steam coming through. Did not expect this, but here it comes. Looking at it, it looks like it's a light loco, so it doesn't look like it's hauling anything. But we shall see which one it is anyway. Nice way to start the day, isn't it? And everyone gets fascinated by this. All right, well, it was 35028 and it was hauling one carriage with people on it. I think it might be staff though. Um, but yeah, every, loads of people got up for that. Of course they did. It's a steam train. Why wouldn't you? That's probably come off the road. So. So, yeah, as you heard Alex said, there's a rail tour, so. Anyway, right, talk about Chiswick in a second. Okay, so we're now here at Chiswick. Uh, we're in Travel Card Zone 3 on this one, uh, located within the Grove Park area. We're in the London Borough of Hounslow, we are at the moment. Uh, we were in Ri the London Borough of Richmond when we were in Barnes Bridge, but obviously we've left Richmond now and now are in Hounslow. Um, Chiswick is the nearest station to Chiswick House and the Gardens, which is quite a well-known sort of place around this area. Um, it's also uh, served by, well, Chiswick High Road, which is about a 10 minute walk away from here, is served by Gunnersbury Station, which is located on the London Overground. This station is pretty close to Gunnersbury, which is uh, on a separate line itself. Um, it's also served on the district line as well. So, um, they, it is well connected in this sort of area, um, but it is pretty close by to those two places. Well, to Gunnersbury. So, yeah. And also quite close to 
uh, Turnham Green and Stamford Brick as well. So it's pretty much in a sort of big area where they're all sort of nearer to each other. So yeah. So that is uh, Chiswick done. The next station we're going to is Kew Bridge. I'll date you soon. Right, the parking lot now is the 0914 service to London Waterloo. 450 and 006. So we're going to wait for our train, the 0919 Weybridge service, which will take us to Kewbridge. And uh, we'll update you in just a moment. Right, arriving now is the 0919 Southwestern Railway service to Weybridge. And we have 450.077 on this one. We're taking this one stop to Kewbridge. One of the doors had a little sign that said not in service, but someone stood by it ready to open it. I think you might be in service. Right, welcome to Kewbridge Station. Our next one for today. Station three, and departing out now is the 450s to head off to Weybridge. Is 450045. If you swap those numbers around, you could have 450450, but you don't, so that's not even a real thing. Anyway, update you shortly. Just arriving in here, didn't film it come in because you filmed quite a few 450s already. 450072 and 079 heading to London Waterloo, but we're now here at Kewbridge. And whilst this one uh, is waiting, we'll talk about Kewbridge. Uh, again, in Travel God Zone 3, the station is on the southern and eastern curves of the Kewbridge Railway Triangle. Although the eastern curve section is abandoned, so that's not in use anymore. Um, station building was done up in 2013, we'll probably have a look at that in a short while. Um, and briefly, between 2000 and 2002, uh, Anglia Railways ran through here. Uh, they ran uh, via the North London line and the Western Curve as far as Basingstoke and it was known as the Crosslink at the time so and also random fact Britain's largest cycling manufacturer Brompton Bicycle uh, are based or were based behind the station random fact for you so there goes that one uh, and also, Kewbridge is the nearest station to the GTEC Community Stadium, which is, of course, home to Premier League team Brentford. And boo Brentford. They beat Man United 4-0 a couple of seasons ago, though. Anyway, enough about that. It is the nearest station to it. Brentford isn't the nearest station to the GTEC Community Stadium. Kewbridge is. Anyway, next stop is Brentford. I'll update you soon. <laughs> there, which I didn't even realise, is the GTEC Community Stadium, home of Brentford. Uh, obviously, Premier League season is out now, but there is the stadium. It's literally... Kewbridge might as well just be called GTEC Parkway or something. Ah, Kewbridge is fine. But yeah, that's the nearest station to Brentford, so there you go. Also to the Royal Botanic Gardens, but... Brentford! Anyway, update you soon. Brentford Station which isn't near here, this stadium, is next. Right, just got 237 and uh, now here in Brentford. Well, we were already in Brentford technically, but we're now at Marketplace in Brentford and we're gonna head to Brentford Station. Update you shortly. That was a B9 Gemini 2, by the way. 
Okay, we're now here at Brentford station. So it's one of the busiest stations on the line. Um, it was the main station for Griffin Park, which was Brentford's old ground before it became the GTEC Community Stadium. Um, but Griffin Park was the original ground and Brentford station. This one was the nearest place to it. Um, opened in 1849 by the London and South Western Railway in a period of mainly passenger use. Um, it was an, there's an unlinked line, the Brentford Dock Line, which uh, operated between 1859 and 1964. Uh, it was mainly for goods and waste transfer. Uh, and it ran a passenger service to uh, the old Great Western Railway Brentford station um, between 1860 and 1942. So the line was used for passengers eventually as well. But it had another purpose too, and probably a more significant purpose as well. So it did have a branch line that went out from here, Brentford Dock, or Brentford's original station, let's say, was where it ran to. So, yeah. So, also, this little tunnel bit here looks like Sutton. It does remind me of it quite a bit, so I did point this out earlier. Um, it does look like Sutton. Um, but yeah, so we're going to wait here. Uh, our train is at 10.23, and our next stain is, uh, stain? Station is Scion Lane and um, update you soon. Right, a couple of trains arriving. Got the uh, Weybridge to London Waterloo 450.001 and 450.089 and 450.006 is here. along with 450.021 which we're taking to Scion Lane, the next stop for us. Update you shortly. Okay, we've now reached Scion Lane and the partner now is going to be 450.006 and 021 and Elsa Weybridge. goes and uh, we'll talk about this station in just a moment nice little station at least go from there and update you shortly so welcome to Scion Lane uh, located in the borders the Springgrove and New Brentford neighborhoods of Helmslow the London borough of Helmslow so we're still in West London um, interestingly enough this station is the nearest station to the headquarters of Sky <laughs> How very random, but yes, Sky's headquarters is very close to here. Um, it's located at a building which is called uh, West Cross Centre, which is basically, um, among other businesses as well, but it is the headquarters and studios of the company Sky, who do everything, Sky Sports, Sky News, all that stuff. Um, the station is set below steps at the foot of a north-south humpback bridge which is literally just over there um has a passenger shelter on each platform instead of a station building that little thing there and yeah so that is basically the station it's quite basic in comparison um it is one of those little intermediate ones but uh yeah that is scion lane next stop is Isleworth for us and uh, we'll update you shortly So we just got the H37, we're now here in Isleworth. Doing alright for buses so far, keeping track of it all. I'm impressed with the fact we're in London and basically doing this. So yeah, uh, Isleworth station's over there where that bridge is and we'll update you shortly. Right, we're now here at Isleworth station, located in Travel Card Zone 4. Uh, these two platforms are actually constrained over a bridge, would you believe? So we're actually on top of a bridge almost, this station. Um, the station here, Isleworth, uh, only fits seven coaches of an eight coach train here on the platform. Um, the more suburban district of Isleworth is primarily southwest of the station. 
compromising two estates called Woodlands and Wharton. That's just an idea about where the station is located. Um, the station had a big refurbishment in 2023 about a three million pound project to improve the station. Install lifts as well, which are, at, I, I don't, oh yeah, they're over there. There they are. There's a little building there with a lift. Uh, so yeah, they have installed lifts. Um, but yeah, the work's only just been completed this year. So Isleworth has had a bit of an upgrade in recent time, which is good. Um, but yeah, as for the station, we are literally just outside Hounslow now, and it is our next station, Hounslow. Um, then that's that line complete, because Hounslow's the last station on it. So, uh, we will update you shortly. Our train is here soon to take us to Hounslow. Okay, uh, arriving now is the uh, 1120 South Western Railway service from Weybridge to London Waterloo. And it is uh, 450.045, the one I said, if you switch the numbers, would be 450.450, because it would be. Like I said, here at Isleworth, it is only the front seven coaches that fit. The eighth coach is locked out of use. There's that one, and um, we'll see it go out in a minute. <laughs> 450077 makes up the rear of the 1120 service from Weybridge to London Waterloo, operated by South Western Railway. Um, so yeah. That is Isleworth done. That is nearly the entire Hounslow Loop line done. Also, fun fact, it is nearly the entire South Western Railway network complete. I only have a little bit left after this. Um, obviously, we've still got a little bit of it to do, and you'll see that in upcoming videos in the future. But for now, we'll focus on this one. Next stop is going to be Hounslow, and then we're going out of London to do some more. Update you soon. Right, arriving now is the 1127 South Western Railway service to Weybridge running a bit late, got 4.50.125 and we have 4.50.046 and off to Hounslow on this we go this is the last station in London we're getting Right, we're now here at Hounslow and 450.125 and 046 is heading out. It's also American Airlines. We are seriously close to Heathrow at the moment. Hounslow is probably geographically the closest station to Heathrow Airport, along with Felton. So these two are really, really close. Anyway, the final station on the Hounslow loop before we leave it and head to another line. Uh, we'll talk about it in just a moment in Fair Zone 5. Um, and we'll update you shortly with the facts. Okay, we're now at Hounslow. Uh, this station is in Fair Zone 5. Um, this station, uh, in early 2010, so there's a lot of alterations that were done here. We spent uh, just about an excess of 600K to get this done. This is in the early 2010s though, so it probably would cost a lot more money now. Um, in 2017 as well, a proposal to actually extend the overground network to here was made. Um, which was fairly interesting. You can imagine London Overground running to Hounslow. Probably an extension from Richmond, I would have thought, but maybe it's its own line. Um, and I'm, yeah, I think it was. Uh, the scheme known as the West London Orbital envisages the reopening of the Hill. It's possible for running services and running trains from West Hampton to Thames and Hounslow required a plan on the common lane station which I believe is near to where HS2 was supposedly meant to be built 
or is being built so um, so yes um, currently still at a consultation stage but who knows what happens in the future with that it would be interesting to see that happen but I don't know anyway that's Helmsley as for the station itself uh, it serves the very edge of London basically in the borough of Hounslow and Hounslow bus station is about a five minute walk from here so yes which we're going to head to shortly as well so uh, we're going to head off to our next station we're going to go to Staines we're catching the bus there uh, but we're heading out of Staines next and our next station will be Virginia Water so I'll update you soon So we just got off that uh, Mercedes Benz Sotara. It's not the first time you've seen that in a video either. We were on it on the other South West Somewhere on a trip we did back in January. But we've taken the 117 again to get us back here to Staines. And uh, we are now heading to out of London. We're going into Surrey. And our first stop is going to be Virginia Water. This we'll update you soon. This is no longer useful for the rest of Indeed. the day now. So. By the way, yes, Jasper is here. I didn't Hello. first introduce him earlier. And Alex and Cam, obviously, you've said you've seen them already. We're not saying that on video. Okay, here is the 1312 South Western Railway Service to Windsor and Eaton Riverside, 450 002 and something else. Just departing stains. We're just waiting here for the 1323 service, which is the Reading service. We're gonna take to Virginia Water. River is 450.092. Our plan goes to uh, Raysbury, Sunny Meads, Datchet, and Windsor and Eaton side. Right, arriving now is our train, the 1323 South Western Railway Service from London Waterloo to Reading. It's 458.506. And something else, but we'll see that when we get to Virginia Water, our next station. We'll update shortly. Right, we are in the absolute pouring rain now. And the part, we're in Virginia Water, and the party at now is the pair of 458s heading out to Reading. Apologies if any raindrops appear on the camera. You might actually see the rain as well. <laughs> Is four five eight five one eight. So there, that one goes. Right, Virginia Water. Here we are. It's raining like mad. I'll update you when we're in some shelter. Right, well that random massive downpour of rain has just stopped. So the sun's out again. Um, so we're here at Virginia Water. This is the junction for the line to Weybridge. So uh, as you see, there's two platforms here. And then as you go down here, there is a triangular, almost triangular junction that these two platforms are here and they lead out to Weybridge and back. Whilst then the main two lines there head to Reading. So uh, that's what they, well, that's the line towards Reading and from Reading, of course. So this is where they meet. Um, as for the station as well, we are now outside of London. This serves the village of Virginia Water in Surrey. Um, it's not a triangular shape, it's a V shape. That's what it is. It's the, it's the shape of like a letter V. That's what it is. Um, the station now has ticket barriers as well. This is one of the only stations sort of around here that's got a ticket barrier that's operational. Some of the others don't actually have it. This one does. Um, also worth noting that uh, a very random fact was that the station actually got its station building in the 70s along with a couple of other stations. 
and it was a fully concrete material building which is a very random fact that I found out but yes probably not that much interesting but it's prefabricated material so it's like one of those classic 70s buildings that you'd see you can see it there that you're on your left um, underneath the footbridge sort of beyond where the newer staircase is there is the old prefabricated concrete building so a couple other stations have that as well but this one is notable for having it so that's Virginia Water done we haven't really got any trains to see we are disappearing shortly to catch a bus to Egham our next station um, we have skipped a station obviously to past Egham we're going to go back on ourselves first time in the trip that we've done this today but yeah so Virginia Water's next Sorry, Egham is next. We've done Virginia Water. Here we are. Okay, just pulling in on platform three is the 1354 Southwestern Railway service from Weybridge to London Waterloo. It's 450087. This is going in off the very sharp curve that comes that precedes the station. There is something else in the rear, but we're not going to have time to see it, unfortunately, because we've got to go. But there it is arriving, and we're now heading to Egham. I'm going to update you soon. All right, we're now on board a Enviro 200 MMC. This time, just not a London one. We're on with White Bus. Now we're heading over to uh, Egham on this one. On the 567, that's the route. Completely empty. Literally only Alex at the back there. So, and then Cam and Jasper at the front with the USBs. So, yes. Uh, we're gonna head off and yeah we'll make our way to Egham and then uh, yeah we'll go from there wait till we move first Seven that we have just uh, taken and we're now here at Egham station and uh, yes that bus was completely empty other than us yeah we had it all to ourselves following. all to ourselves brilliant right we'll update you shortly right here we are at Egham station as you can see we're overlooking the level crossing for the two platforms there um, we shall head inside the footbridge there and obviously uh, another interesting looking station go ahead and update you then right welcome to Egham uh, this station serves the town of Egham we're still in Surrey um, the station sign does read Egham for Royal Holloway University of London it does say that indeed um, a lot of the people from the nearby sort of campus um, of the University of London there is a campus nearby here at Egham so a lot of students do use this station for that um, now here's an interesting state fact for you there was an incident that happened at the station but it's not like a not one you'd expect me to say in a video normally in 2000 so 17th October and it was October 2000, 2000 it says the 17th of October it's got full date at the crossing over there a bus got trapped and uh, it was subsequently stuck by an empty train. So the bus was dragged 100 metres, causing damage to the nearby houses. There were about eight people on board. No one was hurt, thankfully. Um, but yes, but they were evacuated before the collision actually happened, so they managed to get out. Um, so, uh, the station building it opened in 1995, and uh, was 1985, sorry was opened by Lady Lawrence so yes that is Egham station next stop for us is going to be uh, Chertsey so we're going to head there next I believe it's Chertsey we're going to I'm just confirming that 
So I don't even remember my own plan. Yeah, it's Chelsea next, so I'll update you when we get on the train for there. <laughs> right, arriving in now is 4.50.006. <laughs> Heading on the 14.21 South Western Railway Service to Weybridge. 4.50.021 is the rear. And we're going to head to Chertsey. I'll update you soon. Chertsey, it's the next station we're at. First fun fact, Chertsey is the nearest station geographically to Fort Park. So Staines isn't, but Chertsey, sorry about the camera, James isn't, Chertsey is. Staines is the one with the bus link, but Chertsey has it, albeit a bit longer, um, but Chertsey is geographically the closest station to Fort Park. Anyway, the station is on the uh, Weybridge section. So it's on the Weybridge line, that's what I just call it. And uh, yeah, let's we'll update you shortly. Right, welcome to Chertsey. Uh, the station is... Yeah, located in uh, the Runnymede district of Surrey. Um, in the town of Chertsey, of course. Um, the station was opened in 1848. Um, along with the initial section of the Chertsey branch, which opened at the same time. Uh, the existing building, which is the one there, is Grade 2 listed, uh, which I'm not surprised by at all. Um, it was opened in 1866, so um, there's also a level crossing here. Uh, the, the train, this station can hold 10 carriage trains, and uh, like I said, it's geographically near Fort Park, so yes. Um, the level crossing is just over there, as you see by the bridge, the footbridge. It connects the two platforms, um, and yeah, that is Chertsey Station. It's, uh, it's half hourly service here, or Weybridge to London Waterloo. That's the ones that run here. On diverts, uh, you do get trains that pass through here as well, that go from, say, Woking, etc. Um, they usually will divert through here and then come out at a junction just beyond Weybridge. They don't actually go through Weybridge, but yes, because it reverses at Weybridge, so. It's a bit of a bottleneck. Anyway, so um, that is Chertsey. The next station is Adelston, and we're going to head there by bus again. This time, Falcon buses, coaches, whatever they're called. I'll date you soon. There's the 557, operated by Falcon coaches, Falcon buses, whatever you want to call them. And we're now here in Adelston, or Adelston, and we'll update you shortly. Right, now here at Adelston. We're not here for very long, but uh, the train is about to arrive. But uh, 450125. Oh. So, uh, here's 450.079. And 450.072. Here we are at Adelston. We're gonna to have to rush off, but here's the station. Sorry, it's quite a quick shot. You usually get one of those stations, don't you, where it's a nice quick shot. But we'll update you uh, when we get to Virginia Water. Right, we're now here at uh, Virginia Water. Um, and very quickly, what we're gonna do, because we, we obviously didn't get to do it at Adelston, uh, I will give you the facts about Adelston here. Um, Apologies for that. We were getting food and lost the track of time a little bit, but obviously you got a glimpse shot of Adelston. It isn't really anything different to any of the other stations we have been to today, I'll be honest, in terms of there's nothing unique you would have seen there. But the station itself uh, is serves the town of Adelston and the Runnymede district of Surrey. Um, it crosses the river way um, just south of the station. After leaving the station as well, uh, trains approach Adelston Junction and can either head westward towards Byfleet and Newhall, which is diverted trains normally do, 
or head eastwards to terminate at Weybridge. So yes, basically it's close to a junction that avoids Weybridge. So Adelson is that sort of preceding station. Um, Boss Streets 431 and 461 both operated on behalf of Surrey County Council, both stop outside uh, Adelson Station. So it wasn't really much to it, there isn't much facts other than that, but you got a glimpse of Addison Station anyway and that's the whole idea. You saw we got a train from there, so happy days. Next station for us is Long Cross, uh, as we head towards on the Reading line now to do the remainder of what we need. But before we do, parting out now is South Western Railway Service from Reading to London Waterloo. Four fifty zero thirty and one two one. So there you go. So we'll update when our train arrives to head to Long Cross. Right, arriving in now is going to be the sixteen oh one South Western Railway service to Reading, which we're going to take to Long Cross. This is the only station realistically we've been to today where we're not going to have a connecting bus. 450065 and 014. So we're going to head to Long Cross on this one and uh, we'll update you when we get there. Okay, we've now arrived at Long Cross and right now is the 2450s heading on the uh, 1605 South Western Railway service to Reading. Rear of it being 450014. This station feels like it's in the middle of a safari park um, immediately. It's for. But yes, uh, this is Long Cross Station. This station used to be really, really poorly served by Southwest Trains and for a time Southwestern Railway, but has now recently had a service improvement to every 30 minutes. I believe it used to be every two hours. I think it was something like that, or only a few times a day. But obviously for reasons which we're going to explain in a minute, it's been improved. Uh, but yeah, uh, I believe also this is one of the least used stations in the country, or was. So, but we'll update you shortly. Right, here we are at Long Cross. Uh, the station is next to Long Cross Garden Village in Surrey. Uh, it straddles the former parishes of Virginia Water and Line. Um, and is part of the large wooded sandy heath known as Surrey Heath, which is basically what surrounds us now is Surrey Heath. Um, the station provides access to Long Cross Garden Village and the adjacent Long Cross Film Studios, which is literally just across from there. Um, the station has no direct road access, but has a short broad path to the nearby residential Burma Road and Churchill Drive. So that is interesting. No direct road access whatsoever. Um, to the north is Wentworth Gold Course, lacking any rights of way between it and the station. Um, which is, yeah, there's a golf course, Wentworth Golf Course. Uh, the station is adjacent to parts of the Wentworth Estate and beyond the M3 motorway to Chobham Common. So this station is very weird. It's basically located within a tour two tourist attractions. A film studio and a golf course. It's surrounded by both. And basically you have to go through them to get out this station what a weird station but anyway there you go uh, our next station is going to be Sunningdale I'll update you soon okay arriving in now is the uh, 16 uh, 30, 35 Southwestern Railway service to Reading and we've got 455s 455742 And uh, 732. That's all 
right, got these on a Reading. It's decent. Right, update you when we get to Sunningdale. Right, another part now is uh, the 1639 service to Reading. Five seven three two and seven four two, heading off to Reading. This is Sunningdale. Um, we'll update you in just a moment with some facts. Here we are. Right. So sorry about the clip there. Arriving in is a Southwestern Railway service from Reading to London Waterloo. This one is two four fifties. So we've got O two three. Four fifty uh, zero nine seven. So you are now here at Sunningdale, and uh, this station is serves the village of Sunningdale in Berkshire. So we're actually in Berkshire now. Another Berkshire one ticked off, which I didn't even know was in Berkshire. But there you go, it is. So we are in that county for this particular one. Um, as for the station. Uh, it opened in 1856. Um, it's, it was located in Broomhall prior to sort of boundary changes in the 90s. Um, it was part of the civil, civil parish of Windlesham in Surrey. So it was actually historically part of Surrey, but now it's Berkshire. So its uh, county has changed. Um, the station also stands adjacent to a level crossing on the A30 which runs straight through the town. So again, it's one of those sort of ones where if the level crossing closes, you can't access the town straight away. There go the two 450s heading off to London Waterloo from Reading. So that's Sunningdale done. Um, as you can see right outside is a massive Waitrose, um, which is over there, so adding to the list of interesting things you find outside of railway stations although Waitrose is probably one of the more common ones um, but yeah so there's not too much to tell about the station other than the station did used to change well what used to be in Surrey and was considered as part of Surrey when uh, you counted for railway stations in the uh, in the 1800s so or the 1850s beyond so yeah historic part of Surrey but now in Berkshire anyway final station today is Martin's Heron we're going to get two buses there because we've got some time to kill so we're going to do that I'll let you see right heading off there is the 703 heading to Bracknell we just got off that and the 01 which is operated by white bus got an MCV evolution on that that was an E400 city we're now going to head to Martin's Heron we'll update you from there Right, welcome to the final station on today's plan. This is Martin's Heron, uh, located in Berkshire as well. This station uh, actually has a quite an interesting fact that uh, I, I was really fascinated when I found out about. Um, for a start, we'll talk about the basics of this station before we go into the rather interesting, well, it's more, it's a little bit obscure, but understandable fact. Let's just say that. Uh, but before we do, let's just talk about Martin Terran Station. Um, so, opened, not open, sorry. Um, it's a suburb on the eastern edge of Bracknell. So we're technically in Bracknell with this one. Uh, has two basic platform entrances, entrances on both sides. Came in one way and there's one on the other side too. Um, so, it's a... The station is accessed, would you believe, by the Tesco delivery access road it is a strange it's an odd location for a railway station entrance but it is a railway station entrance in itself um we'll pop outside and i'll show you exactly what i mean in a second but for now this is martin's heron uh we are going to wait until the train arrives just to show that we are catching a train from here but uh for now uh we'll update you shortly so if you come outside martin's heron 
this is the car park and the car park is actually owned by Tesco which is literally right there and as you can see the delivery access road is not necessarily here but the entrance up to it around that roundabout is basically where it is it's around the back of it so yeah so the fact that I read um, is that the car park is on land owned uh, by the supermarket and there are no charges for parking which is interesting you'd think they charge you for it but they don't so it's popular for commuters but they also allowed commuters to use the main supermarket car park but in 2010 they implemented a three hour maximum parking time to discourage people from using it so it's only this little bit here that you saw in the clip that's and that it's the bit beyond the roundabout section that is allowed to be used and that's tesco's owned so yes um so yeah that's the station and um, we'll update you shortly all right the partner now is the 1847 southwestern railway service to reading Four fifty nine seven and four fifty zero two three. So there, there you go. So as that one goes out, um, I'm going to do my outro now because obviously the train's going to be arriving soon. So thank you all for watching today's episode of Every Platform. If you have liked what you've seen, do like and subscribe, and do leave it in the comments because I will get back to them as and when I can. And any recommendations are welcome, so please do leave those in the comments too. Thank you to Cameron and Alex. And of course, uh, Anish and Jasper for coming with today. It's been a fantastic day. I think we can, uh, I think we can safely say today went very well. We're pretty much faultless, really, wasn't it? So I was very impressed. And for a London trip, I actually went a lot slower, which was good. Yeah, although we went in London for a lot of it. Well, for the first we bit we were, and it could have been rushed, but because yeah. London normally is, but mm. we did quite well not to. So, um, yeah. And overall, a brilliant day. And also, it, it clears off a big part of Southwestern Railway's network that I needed. So there's only a little bit left now. So, yes, indeed. Um, so, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. So, over what we're going to do, I'm going to finish the video here. I'm going to wait till the train arrives, because obviously I want to show that we are actually catching the train from here. Um, but from me here at Martin's Heron for now, uh, it is goodbye from me and not only that we're halfway there we're pretty much halfway there skippity ohio yeah so we are now pretty much just over halfway to completing the series things are going well so see you next time thanks for watching bye for now right Finishing up, here is the 1903 Southwestern Railway service to uh, London Waterloo from Reading. This is our train. I think we might be a bit far down the platform, but it's 4.50.030. This is the last clip, obviously just saying bye for now. Prove that we're getting the train, like I said. So, that's it from us. Thank you for watching. See you later.